I was editing the other day just showing you how to do a really fast flash and ambient shoot and edit so you can look back to my previous videos uh, for that example and we ended up with this image now one of my our eagle-eyed um, viewers and subscribers thank you for pointing out that there is still some color cast as you can see on the right hand side and also on the left hand side here uh, and a little bit up here as well because I've done this very quickly just with one flash hitting high above the ceiling here pointing the flash directly above my head um, we could have worked a bit harder on site and shot two more flashes I could have gone off to the right hand side and to the left hand side and popped a couple more flashes what I usually do um, is set my AD200 to 10 seconds and then just walk around position myself and try and bounce the flash as you usually do straight up above your head just out of sight and that will also create um, some, some good lighting and be able to get rid of all of those color casts in the side the only problem with doing that is obviously it's taking more time on site and it's going to take more time in the edit so you can do that um, but making those composites as I said is a little bit um, time consuming so to speed things up if you're doing a real estate listing like this one was that needed to get to the broker and onto the uh, MLS as quickly as possible I would just shoot with one flash on this uh, and for me the color cast wasn't really that much of an issue and I'd get it delivered very quickly if we wanted to do a little bit more of a detailed edit on this and get rid of these color casts um, then we can easily do that rather than popping different flashes uh, we could just do that in Photoshop but it's up to you you can do either way you desire um, if I'm doing an interior design shoot or an architectural shoot then I would spend more time on site I'm getting paid by the hour and I would pop more flashes and do a composite edit in Photoshop um, but if I get into Photoshop after my real estate shoot and I'm not so happy with the color cast on the sides there uh, because obviously we were doing things on the run then we can easily get rid of those color casts and I'm going to show you a couple of ways how to do that right now first of all you can do a hue saturation layout so you could literally just go into um, uh, Photoshop click on layer and then go to new adjustment layer and go down to hue saturation click OK on that and on the right hand side now you can see that it has all my uh, HSL sliders uh, so what we're going to do now is just keep that on default and master we're going to click on this little hand tool here then it will give me the eyedropper tool and I can just click on the color cast that I want to address so here we have some blue so I'm going to click on that as I do that you'll see it's selected the range here and up here it says blues so it's identified the range of blues that uh, my color picker has selected now you can change the range of where you click by going up to the sample size at the top here so at the moment I've got point sample but you can increase that and I'd recommend something like 3 by 3 average that's the amount of pixels range that you'll be selecting if you click that now then you'll get your sample up here so now you've got your blues selected then you can literally just desaturate those and it will just get rid of the blues so if I bring that right down you can see that all of the blues have gone from this area which is great but as you can see my blue sky has disappeared and it's affected the entire place now to retain those blues in the other areas then you would go to your eraser tool and then you would just literally increase your brush size and just paint those blues back in so that's one way that you can do it um, and that might be quickest for you uh, but if you want you can also select the area and just change that in camera raw so let's go back and back to our original file and then we're going to just show you the other way to do this so we can do this in a couple of different ways if you want to you can hit W get your one tool and then you can select the area just by clicking a mouse and you can go to minus if you want to subtract from the selection and just get it so that you're happy with your pick in the area that you want it's going to get rid of this little tiny dot here and then we can do a command J to take that area into a new layer and then we'd go into filter camera raw filter and then we're gonna just go to our color mixer and bring the blues down you can do it as much as you like if you do hundred percent click OK to commit the changes you can always change the opacity of that 
afterwards to bring the blues back a bit if you want to so there you go so opacity at 100 percent will be completely uh, will completely remove those blues and you can do that with any area up here if you feel that that's a little bit too orange you can do the same thing with that so there's two ways that you can do it hopefully that's really helpful for you just a quick video guys look at all my videos please like and subscribe and i'll continue doing these for you and if you have any questions or want to see me do anything else uh, I will show you. The idea for me is to get you guys um, going with some really, really quick ways to do things, not convoluted and uh, time wasting. So I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.